Hey, good afternoon, students. My name is Andres Felipe Batista Gomez, and to have today I have the pleasure to show you this component. This is an annex component C of my degree work, which is called Modulation and Diagnostic of Los Garzones Water Supply Network. Okay, In this this I am going to show you a manual of um, how to draw the distribution. Um, network okay uh, we are going to use the software waters when uh, water hems and uh, version connected action uh, we're going then to find uh, the content table and the graphic table as well uh, um, some information about uh, the introduction of the manual uh, the methodology about this manual so an icons in order just to identify how to how where to click and uh, during this process uh, and not so information about the software so just yes, let's start with this uh, process uh, um, right here we have just to click double click on the icon of this software just to open it and then we will have to click on create new hydraulic model um, later quick the next option will be not and then we're going just to like um, to save our file to give it a name some detail about what we're going about what we're going to do okay so we just click on file this little tab right here on the top we give our word a work uh, a, a title the uh, the file name, the engineering, which is doing this process, the company, the date, and then we're done when this when we are done with this note as well. We just um, into the same tab. We can look for the option options, and we we're going to configure the unit that we're going to use uh, for this uh, modulation. And uh, we can then uh, select right here uh, the tab unit, right? In which we are going to select system international we're going to use the international system and um, we also can configure later quick and uh, the unit that we're going to use for for example the label pressure we can use in um, kilopascal oh, and also we can uh, we can use um, water and and yes meters column of water as well so step number four which be just to enter the calculation option through the tab home we can click on options and then we are going to click on steady state and the system automatically is going to show it at this little window and we were going to select the friction method that we're going to use in this case would be Darcy waistband and also we are going to look for the option of the time analysis type which is steady state, uh, steady state in this case and now that is it now is a good moment to save the information um, no, not yet, not yet. Then uh, we're going to add a background, okay? We're going to add a background just to to make it as easier to, um, to draw our network, our water uh, supply network, okay? So how do we do that? How do we add a background layer just to use it to draw our network? We can go ahead to the this window called this window called background layer this box and we're going to look for this icon new file so the system is going to show us this uh, window in which we can select we're going to look for the option in which the route in which we have saved our file that we are going to use as a background okay so in this case remember that the file have to be dx file if we don't have it for example in this file and we have it maybe dwg we can change it how do we do it so we look for the item the, the original one that we have in dwg uh, and we can look for it open it and it will be an autocad file autocad file we open it and after that when we open it we can go ahead and click on the icon of this software we double click right here save us another format and then we look for um, um, the format that we want to save it we can change as well the name in this case we're going to select dxf 
DXF, okay? AutoCAD 2018, and we can just click on save, and that's it, guys. We have our file done. So now we go go back uh, where we were before, and you just look for the item, in this case, the DXF. Uh, we just click on open it, and the system is going to show, uh, show us this box about the properties about this one, the unit, the transparency. We can select meters, meters, and sorry, meters. And as the, transpar the transparency, we can use 40, okay? So we'll click on OK. Um, and also in that window, we have the option to change like the color of the lines that we're going to see, the color line of the, our uh, plant, the background one. So we can change it to different color, just to let you know, okay, there you have that option. We click on OK, we are going to see the background right here. If we don't see it, if you don't see it, you can click on this little icon. So the system is going to show you the background immediately, okay? Um, and then, so uh, we are, like, this is a good, a good moment to save all the information that we have, all the process that we have done to the same window, to the same tab, file, save as, um, you give us our, you can, we can just generate a name of this file, select the route, and that's it, so right now we have a name, uh, for this file that everything, all the changes that we're going to do, are going to be just saved on that part. Okay, step number seven, which is just to start uh, we are going to configure uh, the pipe, uh, the diameters, and the materials for these ones. And um, how do we do that, guys? So through the tab wind, wind, we can select the option prototypes because you know in a network supplies, um, in a water supply network we have different diameters, okay, and also with different materials as well. So we just to make it this model um, as much possible as uh, real as we can, okay, real as we can. So we are going just to identify in our plan different diameter that we have and we're going to put that information right here and also with the materials. So if we if if we click on prototypes, we are going to look. We are going to see this little box called prototypes. If we click on pipes, which is um, the system automatically is going to show us like a, they are the first prototypes, and also at the same time, this little window with the um, uh, the option to modify the diameters and also the material, okay? So if we click on the diameter right here, we can uh, edit the information of the, um, the dimension of this one, but uh, millimeters, okay? We, this you, this um, label, this dam diameter is um, millimeter, mil millimeters, okay? So we just to be careful about it. Um, but remember that we have different diameters. So we click, uh, right click on the last one that we have, the, pro the last prototype that we have saved, uh, um, save, I'm sorry, and we just click on new. That's how we create a new one. And then we just, we have to repeat the process to edit the diameter and also the material. But when we click on the material, as we can see right here, the system is going to show us like a um, engineering library in which we have all the different type of material that we can see on a, um, pipes, okay? So in this case, we are going to look for the auction PVC. We're going to select that material. We select it and yes, we just have to repeat that process as much as we need it with the different prototype that we have already, the, with the, all the prototype that we need, okay? So and after that, uh, we click on tools, uh, mod, and then just, just to define uh, our scale, our pod scale factor, also our symbols, signs, multiplier, and also the text a wave multiplier. <clears throat> we can use the same one that you can see on the screen, guys. And we are gonna be ready. Just to start drawing our water supply network. Okay, so how do we add pipe, junction, plums? How do we do it? We just have to click 
right here in each of those options to the top layout we're going to find all of those and just click and click on our background and that will be it guys the system automatically the software automatically is going to add the junction if we need to add a, a plum we just click on plum and then we click on the background and the system automatically is going to put it in the place that we want okay so we are when we are done with that process be careful because you know different materials pie material different um pipe um, meters diameters i'm sorry uh, so just be careful with that part when we are done we are going to uh, it is going to be something like this it's going to look like something like this and this after that we can create like a map different um through colors okay so we can identify different pipe um i'm sorry we can identify the different diameters um just to get category say all those five um so if we can see also we have right here a reference table just to identify those and also with the material different one that we're going to see in this one we only have pvc so we only see just all the line in one color um, um so that was it um, and also um, just to complete the process we are going now to assign the demand flows um, to the nodes right using the um, TCN pol polygon uh, polygony uh, method method okay so how do we do the guys remember that we have another component uh, just related to this process uh, we will have just to look for that option uh, for that components just to investigate a little bit more about it and then at the end of that process we are going to, to see that the result was a file that we are going to export right here to the tab tool and then local builder okay for that option you would just put that uh, file into the system and the, all the uh, nodes are going to have the demand flowed immediately uh, and also we are going to assign as step number 10 the heights of the node at the node so we will also have another company another i'm sorry another component for this a uh, process um, so also at the same as we did before through the tab tools we can select the um, auction t-rex and we can just put that file right here and the nodes are going to have the heights um, immediately so how do we see the result guy of our uh, modulation so after that when we just add the um, different node the height of the node we will have to click on compute what is the option what is the option compute it is this one this little green that we can see right here let me look for it for you guys um it will be this one compute and that's it automatically the system is going to process all the equations equations and um, so now we can have some result about it we can check how is the network working so to the tab report we can see the report about the pine junction and plums um, if we click for example pine the uh, pipe the system is going the software is going to show us this little table about uh, the result that we have about the head load the flow the velocity and also the hassan Williams equation that we have used the length of the pipes and also the star node and the stop node information in general about it okay we can save this information in different formats through this button right here we can export it okay and um, so also guys we have some conclusion for you and some a uh, recommendation okay if you have a question let me know through the comments section below that was it have a good one goodbye